I got worms. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into an all-time classic. This, of course, is Worms. One could even say that we've got worms here today, if one were to make an obvious and low-hanging joke. Um, worms here is a... <laughs> I love this little animation here. Um, this game is from the early DOS era. Not, I mean, not that early. It's like uh, 1995, I believe. Uh, so maybe even the late DOS era, actually. I mean, things were starting to get into polygons. These, this is obviously like a pre-rendered video. And uh, I remember like in the, the mid to late 90s, these like 3D videos were quite impressive. Um, I remember there was actually even a TV show. I think I've talked about this on the channel before, but uh, Americans may not know it, but it was called Reboot. It was on YTV in Canada. Which was sort of like the kids station, but not like the little kids. It was sort of like the, like the teen station, but it was all CGI'd. It was uh, totally 3D characters and stuff. Um, they sort of looked like those 3D crash test dummies that they put in commercials and stuff in, at the time. Not the real life ones, but the, the CGI ones. Anyway, uh, 3D stuff was like very impressive. I remember Diablo had 3D cutscenes. Command and Conquer had 3D cutscenes. It was all the rage. Uh, but anyway, Worms here. Worms is a franchise that almost needs no introduction. It basically involves these little worms throwing grenades, throwing bombs, shooting at each other. I don't know why they're worms, and I don't know why they're trying to kill each other, but it's just always been a thing. Um, I actually never played Worms until I think it was Worms 2 or Worms Armageddon, one of those. And it was a friend um, who invited me over to his house to play it. And that actually really got me into it. But before that, I had like never played it, never really heard of it. So actually, I have not played uh, this one here today. Um, we're going to be trying this together for the, uh, the very first time. Um, Team 17 does make DOS games and Amiga games that have beautiful pixel art graphics. I think they also made the Alien Breed games, if I'm remembering correctly. And those games I never even played until I started my channel, but those are really cool. It's like, if you like the, uh, you know, Ripley Aliens series, the Xenomorphs and stuff, it's like a, a, a Amiga and DOS game that lets you literally run around a top down perspective shooting xenomorphs and stuff so pretty cool oh look we're, this is a demo but i'm moving the mouse around that's actually so cool so it's like the computer's playing but i kind of get to like watch where i want to watch that's interesting anyway let's go ahead and play um now i don't think we've played a worms game on this channel before but it's possible that we have um, I literally the other day was like, oh, I should play Battletoads. I feel like that'd be a fun game to play on my channel. I looked it up because I had a feeling that maybe I'd done it before. I did it. I did it in like year three. So I'm literally now at the point where I'm forgetting the games that I have played and I'm starting to accidentally play them or almost play them a second time. I don't think it's actually happened yet. We've been close. Um, okay. Why isn't the... Oh, actually just select... Okay. Okay, you select multiple teams, I see. So I'll be player one, and we'll go up against Fab Four and Royalty. Let's have a brouhaha of, and maybe even Top Dogs can get in here. So Worms is basically a very chaotic game. Um, I mean, you know, there's mines, there's bazookas, there's shotguns, there's grenades, there's super sheep. Which are sheep that just explode really big. Um, okay, I guess we're in hell, literal hell. The game is known for having randomly generated landscapes and basically just hills and destructible terrain like this. And you just take turns controlling your worms one at a time um, and then trying to kill each other. Um, and there's really not a big strategy here other than try to stay alive. Um, so here are all the weapons. Bazooka, homing missile, grenade, cluster bomb, shotgun, Uzi, fire punch. Okay, now, 
Worms is known for having, oh, I was going to say, a ninja rope. It's one of their most iconic things. I didn't see it there initially. But anyway, I'm kind of running out of time here. Uh, oh, this sucks, because I don't know how I'm going to do this. And there is wind you have to take into account. So, let's try it out. Oh, that did not go the way I wanted. All right, let's just hide here. Um, Worms, I feel like every new iteration of Worms takes a little bit of feeling... Oh, he blew himself up. A little bit of feeling out to figure out, like, what are the physics? Like, how much wind is wind? How much power do you have to put on your bazooka shots to arc things correctly? And if you could get really good at it, you know, you could be a devastating force to be reckoned. Like, look at that grenade throw. That was perfect. That's actually insane that he did that. Or, or Elizabeth, she did that. Wait, Elizabeth, not Diana, Philip, and Charles. It's like royal family. It's like British royal family. Worms always have such weird names. I think John, George, Ringo. Yeah, that's uh, those are beetles. So these worms are named after the beetles. I don't know what my guys are named after. Stumpy, Heevil, Neville, and Horatio. All right. Well, I don't know what the hell any of that means. Um, I'm going to try. Can I burrow? I can. Okay. This, this worm is going deep. So this is a defensive strategy. You can uh, burrow yourself, like, literally under mountains to try to save yourself from the destruction. So this guy has become a prepper. He's going in deep, and he's just going to wait. He's going to wait out the apocalypse, basically. Let all the crazies kill each other. Why, why should he get involved, you know? Um, Charles would also be good for uh, prepping, but no, he decided to go. He decided to try to murder Neville. And uh, Neville's going to want some vengeance. Some sweet, tasty justice and vengeance. Oh, God. Is that a mine that guy's right near? Not Diana's totally dead. I find when there's a lot of worms, the best strategy is to just sort of, like, scatter and try and get away from the action. But it's more fun to kill people, I say, so. Let's uh, just uh, drop a grenade on Scooby and... John here. I don't want to screw this up. There we go. Boom. Oh, I stepped on a mine. I was trying to, like, get on the devil's head to, like, protect myself, but... Alright, whatever. When worms die, they explode so they can do extra damage to other nearby worms. This is a very tactical game. It looks cartoony and silly, but it's actually quite tactical. Oh, that guy. Oh, he, he screwed up. If you injure yourself on your turn, you lose your turn. So yeah, there's like jetpacks, ninja ropes, karate chops. Like basically anything you can think of, you can do in this game almost. If, if it involves one worm trying to kill another. And you can knock guys off the edge of the map and then they're like gone for good, so. I feel like Heevil should try and kill Beethoven and then... Stumpy, Heevil, and even Neville could be safe. Hmm. I just don't know how to get to uh, Beethoven. So maybe we'll, uh... How do I jump? Oh, that's the fire button. God damn it. Oh, he's alive somehow. Well, Charles is probably going to live. He's probably going to kill me. Oh, did he just fire shotgun and miss at point-blank range? Oh, there we go. Just you wait. I'll get ya. Now, I'm actually impressed with how much of Worms is already here in Worms 1. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if things like the Ninja Rope didn't appear till Worms 2, you know? Um, but, I mean, we have all the big weapons. You got grenades, you got cluster bombs, you have bazookas, Ninja Ropes. I th think jetpacks were there. Maybe not. Um... I don't know if Super Sheep are here, or like Dynamite and stuff. There were a few items that did come later on. Okay. I need to figure out how to jump. Okay, that's jumping. In later worms, you can do a back jump, but I guess I don't need to in this one. Oh, please don't hurt me. Oh, maybe I can just shoot him from here. Oh god, it's gonna hit the train and hurt me, probably. Oh no, I killed him! Okay, now, I did a jump. 
Oh, in fact, I didn't even take damage. I thought I was going to intentionally take a bit of damage just to get away from being able to be easily knocked off the mountain myself, but I didn't need to. All right, so enter is jump. Important difference in the keys. Space fires, enter jumps. Oh, I need that health. Son of a bitch. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, I can't believe he got it in there. Second of all, I was about to say, wow, what an idiot. He didn't even go for Neville. But no, he went for Neville, the bastard. I see how it is. Insane pinpoint accuracy. Oh my god. So anyway, every version of Worms, I feel like, has slightly different physics. And so you kind of do have to, like, figure out... You know, like, how much to throw things and stuff. And I, I don't think there's any version of Worms I ever became amazing at. I think it was Worms Armageddon I played the most. Because that was the one where, after my friend introduced me to Worms, I went and bought it. Um, and I bought the Worms Armageddon. It was the newest one. So that one I think I practiced the most. And I think I got pretty good at it, but, like, not, you know, like, anything super amazing. Um. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, whatever, it worked out. I kind of meant to do a lot more power on that. <laughs> the the thing I, I always find with worms is that I am battling the controls because, first of all... Oh, he, teleportation is in this one, too? I thought that came in the later worms. Huh. Okay, this one has all the gadgets. I'm I'm frankly very impressed. Oh, God, what's who's he trying to kill? How did you hit me? Oh my god. Well, so long. It's been real. The computer has insane accuracy. Um, although Charles and Philip are in trouble now, man. Now it's my turn to rain fire. Okay, should I do... Let's do that cluster bomb thingy that he did to me. Oh, there is dynamite in this. Wait, what is this? Teleport. Oh, we could call down an airstrike. Should we? No, I'm gonna... Uh, okay, I'm gonna airstrike this guy. Why not? No, actually, I'm gonna save that in case there's somebody who's farther away. Okay, let's see here. Full power, baby. Knock it into orbit. Where is it? Oh, like, it, that kind of was my own airstrike. It actually sort of clustered around the whole map there. I didn't want it to go that high. I severely... Oh, miscalculated. God damn it. I thought Stumpy would be relatively safe. He's about to die. Oh, look, there's Lassie over... Oh, we should airstrike Lassie just to kill her. I think she's going to teleport. Or no, she's homing missiling me! That bitch. She had to say, she literally hurt us. She's like, oh, you're gonna try and kill me, eh? Well, joke's on you, I'm gonna kill you first. Alright, I guess let's airstrike Lassie. Let's do this. Can't believe that didn't kill her. Alright, well, that was a waste. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm always battling with the controls for worms. Like, for instance, um, I had the PS3 version. I have the PS... No, PS4? PS3 or 4 version. Um, I think it came free with PSN one month. And me and a friend tried to play it months back now. In fact, maybe like a year ago. But I remember when we were playing, we were both... Like, on your turn, you have like 60 seconds to figure it out. And like, that's it. And if you don't know what all the buttons do, it's like you could easily hurt yourself and lose a turn and stuff. So it's like, especially when you try and use the ninja rope and like, you know, drop, uh, like drop weapons and stuff on guys like it, you can easily screw up your own turn. And, um, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's just homing missile that punk. Boom. There we go. Kill him. Oh my god, four hits left. Okay, Charles, man. Look, I know we've had our problems, but you gotta start going for the red guy. He's got three worms. You son of a bitch. Okay, at least you suck at life. 
If I kill Charles and it's just me and the red guy, and I don't like the fact that he's got so many worms. Oh, he's dropping a bomb. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. I think Stumpy's going deep underground. Forget this. I'm, uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's go deeper. Let's go like this. Gonna keep on. I, I basically want an impossible arc so that if he tries to throw a grenade in here, it's just not gonna work. So he has to go for the other guys. He's trying to cluster bomb me. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go deeper. <laughs> My strategy is to just flee from combat. Oh look, he's teleporting in. This is good for us. I think Charles can one-shot him. Because Charles gets every turn because he has no other worms. Yeah, we're going even deeper. They will never find me. Okay, that's deep enough. Come on, Charles. You can do it, man. Yes. Use some of that insane... What? You... you. I was going to say, use some of that insane computer accuracy to do something right for once in your life. Uh, he's trying to kill Charles now. Oh, and he did it! You're done, buddy. You know what? He... Sh he I don't know why. He didn't listen to me. He did not go for the red guy. I knew it was going to happen. I think he thought I was a bigger... He looked at me and he's like, that guy has 53 health. Nobody could be a bigger threat than him. And I'm like, man, I've only got 53 health. health. I could I could not be in a worse position. Don't know who to kill. And if I can just throw one more big cluster bomb, I think I'd kill a bunch of those guys. So why don't we just do that? I think it was something like this, and it will just cluster all over them. So here we go. There you go. Hopefully that does something. Well, I got one of them. I only needed to do four damage, so yeah, he's dead. I don't know how I'm going to kill Scooby. I guess my strategy should be to kill Lassie. That somehow arcs and hits me. Oh my! <laughs> oh my sweet, sweet... <laughs> how do you do that? How do you do that? Seriously, how do you do that? I, I need to know. Okay, I have one more homing missile. It's my only trump card. I've been holding on to it. Okay, here we go. Did it get him? Couldn't even look to see. I did! Okay, if... If nothing else, at least we got to the final two. And these worms are battling in hell itself. You know? We've blown up the devil's head. Look at that. To miss. Oh, you bastard. I think I'm dead. I can't believe I lived! Okay, this is it, man. I got one more shot at this. What can I possibly use? No homing missiles. No airstrikes. I could teleport. None of that will do anything. Prod. You can surrender. Okay, I guess I'm going to teleport. Can I teleport, like, in here? Maybe I should have teleported to a weapon. You know what? I have one more teleport. If I'm still alive next turn, we'll consider our options. Oh, he's teleporting too. Where did he go? Oh my god, I might actually be able to hit him there. It's not likely, but it's possible. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Okay, I, I, I understand. I'm screwed. Um, is there any way to get out? I guess I could blowtorch my way out. I kind of don't want to do that until I see what he does, so I'm actually going to skip and go. Skip my turn. Sudden death mode. Um, okay. What happens now? I think we both just have one hit. Oh, God. And I'm dead. I think I just lost. Yeah, that's it. 
I guess I should have dug deeper. I didn't prep hard enough, guys. You gotta go really deep underground. You gotta have a lot of canned foods to survive in worms. I think this game, this game has another title here. Hold on, let me look this up for a second. Okay, it's al alternate title is Ultimate Wormage. I've never heard that. Or Total Wormage? Uh, I, I already forget. Um, ultimate Wormage. I, I've never heard that. I, this has always just been called Worms to me. What? Wait, what is happening? Oh, it's generating a new landscape. Okay. We're going to uh, redo. This has got pretty good 3D effects. We're really like we zoom in and stuff. For a 1995 game, it, it is pretty impressive. All right, am I dead already? What happened? Cool. Oh my god, two of my guys are side by side and I just took a brutal hit. Okay, but... Now it is our turn. Our time to exact justice. Oh, son of a... Oh god. Okay, I can't believe that worked. All right, I don't know how to do this. I think I just gotta... Ooh, you know what? It's a good time for dynamite. Okay, here we go. We drop it, and then we just take the hit to get out of there. Kaboom, baby! Is that enough to kill guys? <laughs> Took five damage to do, like... 150 damage, it was worth it. Oh, he's just straight up shotgunning that guy to the face like a Terminator. He's gonna explode on me, isn't he? Boom. Oh, he missed and hit the other guy. You fool. John. Okay, I think Elizabeth and not Diana are in positions where, like, in theory, you can just punch them right off the edge of the map. Oh! Oh! Okay. We might be in a good position this time. If they keep killing- if they keep killing each other at this rate, we're gonna do just fine. Just fine. The tension with worms is always like, every single worm is in peril. And so it's like you want to control every single one of them first before the computer gets a turn, but you obviously can't do that. Um, like, I don't know, like, Horatio's in trouble. Frankly, Stumpy was one of my... Least concerned guys. Too bad you can't switch worms. Wait, or can I? Can you tab? I don't think you can. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I might as well. Um, might as well just try and kill these guys. Just, uh,. Throw a bomb at them, I guess. Oh yeah, kill her! That's exactly what I meant to do. It's not what I meant to do, but that that, that could not have worked out more perfectly. Eat that royalty. Oh nice. When it's not me getting killed, it's actually pretty fun to watch. This is a great game to play multiplayer with friends. So yeah, the way I got into Worms is a friend after school introduced me to it. And then we started to play Worms at his house like quite a bit. And then I th I think it was Worms 2. I'm pretty sure Worms 2 is what got me into Worms. Um, and then uh, after that, then I bought Worms Armageddon myself. But I think it was Worms 2 he had at his house that we played all the time. Um, and that one had the super sheep. So there's like a sheep, you drop it, and it goes bah, bah, and it jumps around the landscape. Then you press uh, spacebar again to detonate it and blow it up, and it's like a huge explosion. And I think there was even the super sheep, which would like fly around and stuff. Um, okay, can we do a Hadouken punch? Kamikaze prod. Fire punch. I'm gonna try it. Because you can just sometimes fire punch guys, like, right off the map. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. I think a ratio is not going to make it. There's too many guys over there. I was trying to, like, sometimes you can uppercut guys right off the map, and then, like, even though you don't do a lot of damage, you kill them. So it's sort of like a Smash Brothers kill where they fly off the edge of the map. 
I feel like Lassie and whoever that is, whoever the blue guy with Lassie in that little pit, they, they have like an uneasy truce where like they can't kill each other because once one dies, it blows up the other. So they have to be on the same side, even though they're like, you know, clearly are not friends. Okay, none of my worms are in good positions. Wait, what just happened? Well, that guy blew up. I I began thinking I was in a great position, and now I'm like worried that I'm in a horrible position. Oh God. Jesus. Okay. Well, hey, this is a good opportunity to try the ninja rope. So let's see how this works. Wink. Yahoo. Right, and I think... Okay. Ah! Okay. And now... For the... I, I'm kind of tempted... I guess I don't have another dynamite. Probably out, yeah. I guess I'll just throw a cluster bomb at these guys. Hmm. This is enough. I think... Oh, it's in the ceiling! Oh, no! Okay. That didn't work out at all. And I think I'm screwed. Did he just teleport into the sky? Where did he teleport to? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. That's weird. You're gonna try and kill me, aren't you? After all we've been through? Oh wait, he missed me. Charles. Alright, we started this off strong, and now I think we're like second last. <laughs> Ghost Quick and Worms in the world of worms. One day you can be on top, the next you can be dead. You do get a little advantage when you get really low, which is that the fewer worms you have, the fewer worms of yours exist as targets. Which sounds ridiculous, but it actually is a slight advantage. And then, if you only have one worm left, you get to use that worm every turn, but other people are cycling through their worms. So, Hello? there is a little advantage to being dead last. I think this worm that I've got is literally my only hope for survival, so... You guys know what's happening. It's, uh, it's hoarder time, baby. We're going in deep on this one. Gonna try and get deep underground, away from the chaos, start a life. Maybe bring a wife down here, you know? Start again. Just put it all behind us, all the craziness of the worms again. Again, I don't know why the worms are trying to kill each other. I don't know if this is like, uh, you know, accurate to like, worm society. Like, I don't know if worms are actually at war. They, they very well may, may be for, for all I know. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> I know that uh, ants and wasps don't get along, I think. I think that's the thing. All right, Horatio. I don't know what our plan is, buddy, but... Frankly, I don't think it's going to work out. Um, what is this? Oh, a bungee. Oh, that's interesting. We could homing missile Ringo here. That might be Hello? the best strategy. Just like to get rid of them. Then there's nobody on our side of the map and then maybe the others will just forget we exist. Wink. Okay. I was too busy trying to get back in my hole. I could- Oh, he's still alive somehow! I'm pretty sure our missile like totally whiffed. Went, like, around him and hit him from beneath, hitting the dirt he was standing on. Whatever. Hopefully somebody else with better aim finishes him off. And we just get to sit back and watch the computer kill each other. Look, player one, I'm the lowest. The lowest of all the health. My strategy of being the weakest and having the fewest targets on the battlefield is succeeding. Soon they will all know my wrath. There's a little trick in worms. Nobody can kill you if you kill yourself. 
It's the ultimate checkmate. I'm just gonna start a new life in worm construction. Going deep underground. Alright. I think I'm safe. I can just sit- I don't have to play anymore, I can just sit in my hole. <laughs> it's like a punishment. It's like, you've done so bad, just go sit in a hole on the edge of the map. Don't even do anything. Let your opponents kill themselves. Good job, that's exactly what I intended to have happen. If you hide hard enough, eventually the computer will screw up and kill themselves in their pathetic attempt to kill you. And then you win. Uh oh, somebody's coming to my side of the map. I don't like this at all. Uh oh, Di not Diana's here. Pretty sure that's the last blue worm. Well, definitely was the last blue worm. Now she dead. Diana is an X-worm. Alright, so it's yellow versus red. Place your bets. I think red has this. I think yellow is in a bad position. I'm gonna save my air strikes. Oh, I only have one. I'm gonna save my single ace move. Get one more homing missile. I'm literally just gonna skip my turn. Because I don't even want to expose a pathway for them to somehow be able to attack me, you know? Alright, Scooby is like sitting near a couple of crates. Those are like bonus items. I think he got the sheep. I think the sheep is a thing. Oh, he just killed himself though. Idiot. <laughs> yeah, you can also fall in the water. All right, my plan is go is coming to fruition. Soon it will just be me and one more worm, and at that point we have a 50-50 shot of one of us dying first due to accident. That is the best odds I've got. Oh god, for winning this. Okay, he wasn't aiming at me. There was somebody else. Thank god. All right, we've gone from last to third. This is improvement. Oh, he's teleporting somewhere. Oh, he's just gonna get killed. That's a terrible place to teleport to. Okay. See what Paul chooses to do. Because I'll tell you, Jay is just gonna skip his turn. <laughs> Riveting gameplay, guys. But it is true that to be a master tactician, sometimes you must make moves that look like you're losing. Wait, was he aiming at me? He was trying to kill me. It's foolish. Like, th this guy's right on a bridge, right there waiting to- oh my god. Oh, I think we can just airstrike him and we'll win. Cause we'll knock him into the- the river. Oh yeah, check and mate! Check and mate! Here you go, enjoy that. <laughs> Victory! Oh yeah, that was a, a 4D chess move there. You guys thought I was losing. I was just extracting myself from the game so that I would appear to be the weakest. And then relying on chance and ineptitude of my enemies, I won. I won big time. Ooh, this one has a big pit in the middle. A lot of people are going to go down on that one. Oh god, where are my guys? Oh, is what was that mine? I don't even know. Not that it matters this early. It's all just sort of random for a little bit. Okay. Um I feel like I should burrow immediately. I'm just surrounded by guys. I'm just gonna get killed. Oh stumpy. I guess I won't though. Can I jump? Yeah, there we go. And jump. And oh god. Jump. Jump. Oh god. Nope. Yeah, there's a mine down there that I'm trying not to activate. Okay, how about this? We haven't seen an Uzi. Let's see if I can Uzi a guy. A lassie. Say hello to my little friend! 
think I missed most of those shots, but it's pretty fun. 30 damage. Sometimes you gotta roll a hard 30. Suck on this. None of my guys are over here to the right, so I'm totally neutral on how that all goes. Okay, somebody just straight up died, I think. I think. He's still around? I don't even know. Oh, Stumpy. You didn't even have a shot, did you? Oh, you lived somehow, you sweet, glorious bastard. 55 damage, though. Alright. Jeez. If I could knock Rebel into that pit of not Diana, Scooby, and George, I think they would all just kill each other. Like, uh, Thunderdome. Okay. Maybe we can actually, like, nint karate punch this guy. I don't know if it'll work. A Hadouken. Let's try it. Oh, God! We did nothing! Nothing! We just jumped behind him! Uh, see, that's the worst, too. Even if you know the controls, you can flub that. Ah, oh, God. That was terrible. If we just could have, like, punched him off of the edge into the water, I think that one worm of ours would have been safe down there, but we really screwed that one up. All right, Rebel, do your worst. Destroy me. I know you want to. Yeah, there you go. Right in my face. All right, I'm, I'm ninja punching somebody. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I thought I was going to jump in the pit. So did you probably. But instead... Yeah! Oh, there you go! Kill each other. Alright, George. There's a perfect target. What are you talking about? Oh. He just wanted to do a trick shot. I was like, throw a dynamite or a grenade at them. You got fancy with it, George, and you lost. So now they're all going to come and kill you. Oh, what? Health! Right there? That was weird. 49 damage to yourself to kill one worm. Even I know that's a bad, uh, a bad move. Oh my god. These tri the trick shots the computer does with bazookas are something that carry over even into the later worms. Like, the computer definitely, I think, favors bazookas. And they're, like, oddly really good with them. Um, okay, let's see if we can kill Ringo by just knocking him into the water. Speaking of bazooka shots. Alright, Ringo. Eat that. Yes! We finally pull off a kill. A nice clean kill. Oh, Ringo's gonna kill me, isn't he? Oh no. Kinda missed. Oh, you'll be sorry. Uh, Elizabeth. Well, we're dead. Old Stumpy's not getting out of this one. Wait. She called an airstrike? Huh. Odd choice, but Stumpy will take it. Alright, not Diana's dead. You know what? Oddly enough, my worms are surviving much better than I thought. This is this is the thing with worms. It is a bit random. You never fully know what's going to happen. Oh my god, Neville. Maybe I should just kill Neville. Maybe he should take one for the team. Alright, this is kind of a weird thing to do, but I think I can kill a whole other worm if I do this. Neville, buddy. We were never really friends. But I did like you. I'm sorry. Oh no, I only killed Neville. Oh no, no, I think I killed the other guy. 21 damage. Oh, come on! 17? Okay, so now my move looks incredibly stupid. <clears throat> it's okay, though. Right, Charles, do your worst. Boom. You know what this game reminds me a bit of is Lemmings. You guys remember Lemmings? 
I guess it's because it's sort of like a, you know, VGA graphics and the train is very destructible. In Lemmings, the train was very destructible too. You could like dig through it. You could, my bastard. You could build bridges, all sorts of interesting stuff. This is very similar. It's sort of like the cartoony animals and very destructible environments. Okay. Elizabeth, do you remember when I tried to karate punch you into the water? Cause hiya! Get out of here! Alright, that was pretty good actually. I don't know, Paul's just gonna kill me with the bazooka. Oh no, he airstriked. Alright, well, at least Lassie's dead, I guess. Okay, now we're suddenly we're not doing so hot again. Good Charles just hanging up out there. Can't believe he hasn't been knocked into the water or anything yet. Someone should really someone inconsiderate could really homing missile him and ruin his day. Oh god. That person might have to be me. Top dogs. Hmm. Okay, so the question is, who's the bigger threat? Hey, Mister. I think Charles is just gonna die as soon as somebody does something to him. So I think instead, we will see if we can kill this Horatio guy. Because frankly, he's had it coming. He's kind of been a jerk to us. Oops. Actually, did get all the way up there. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm not taking any chances. Or maybe I'll take a few chances. Okay, let's just do it like this. There you go. Oh, that was a perfect shot. That's rare for me with uh, trajectories. Usually terrible with that kind of stuff. So I'm not that good at worms, even though I have fun with it. I like worms. Um, all right. So now there's two worms that haven't been hit, but both are like near water. So I think we probably could get them both with well placed. Oh, <laughs> homing missiles. I think that guy almost pretty much just ended himself. Bazooka. Oh, you stay away from Stumpy. Just you wait. Stumpy's got plans for you, buddy. Alright, we are gonna use a homing missile now. Damn, he's actually sort of at a weird position. Okay, let's just go full power. Oh my god, that... Th it hit the train behind him. It hit the terrain behind him. Oh, no, I'm dead. Stubby! Oh, God. Well, he's dead next time. Oh. Alright. He's dead. Uh-oh. Yellow just looks like we can kill him at any point, so I'm more concerned about blue, but then if I don't kill yellow... This is trouble. The thing is, I need them to fight each other. If they're fighting me, it's a problem. If I kill one of them, then the other one's just gonna fight me. Oh, what the hell, all. Oh wait, I have an idea. Maybe an airstrike could get them both. Nope, they're both safe from airstrikes. Um... Jeez, I don't even know which one to go for, frankly. Who's the bigger threat, you know? Oh, I'm just dead now. Shit. Well, I brought him down into striking distance. Well, that was a weird shot. Oh, God, not me! <laughs> Where's my guy? Oh, he's somehow alive. Alright. Time to burrow, man. 
Where's our uh, pneumatic drill? Let's get the hell out of here, man. We did our best. They're just gonna drop a grenade down my hole and kill me. That'd be an epic way to go, though, so I'm okay. If they can get it down that hole, it's like a hole in one, man. See, the computer can do all this calculus and stuff in its head, so it's really not fair. Suck on this. Oh, God. Oh, my God! <laughs> Uh, well, we were never winning this one with that kind of accuracy. He even, like, adjusted the fuse to two seconds. He's like, no, three seconds is chancing it. I want that thing blowing up in a precisely two seconds. Oh, my God. All right, well, who's going to win between Paul and Charles? What the hell was that? That was a very odd shot. Just straight into the water. I thought that guy by the water was going to be dead a long time ago. I thought Charles was way too exposed. Oh my god. I think they're just- one of them's just going to kill the other- or themselves. And that will be the end of this. I think that's how this is going to go. <laughs> this is pathetic! They can- they can throw a grenade across the map and fall down a hole, killing me. But they can't fire a bazooka at one another. Just blow yourself up, please. Oh, God. We're gonna be here forever. Well, Worms is one of the games the book a thousand video games is played before you die. And, you know, Worms is like a franchise, you know? Like, the, there were a bunch of Worms games. Um, they're all quite good. Uh, I, I'm actually impressed with how much of the Worms formula was here in the very first Worms. I would have guessed that some things would be missing. Um, and it's true we didn't see a Super Sheep. I think one of the computers picked up a crate and it did say Super Sheep, so they might be in the game. Um, we can take a look on the main menu in a moment. I mean, this is... I'm just gonna end the match. This is crazy. They literally can't kill each other. Alright. Um... Sudden death. Alright, come on, dudes. Pull it together, man. You're embarrassing me. Um, if you have never played Worms before, it is a great game to play with friends. I'm curious if you guys watching this have played a lot of Worms. And if so, you know, like, what's your favorite? Is Worms 1, 2, 3, uh, or no, 1, 2, Armageddon. Then there was other ones on the, the PlayStation and... I'm sure they're on the Switch, and I actually haven't kept up with the Worms franchise. I don't know what they're on now, but is this a game or a franchise that you played with your friends? What did you like about it? Did you have any good strategies of your own? As you can see, I was a bit of a burrower. I also like to ninja punch people off of uh, the edge of the map and stuff like that. Um, oh, God. Oh, he actually won. They were waiting for the wind to be favorable, I think. And even, even, uh, this Worms 1 shows the replay, that was something that seemed a little advanced, and so I guess I didn't necessarily think, um, would be in the very first Worms. So, yeah, um, oh, you can right-click to pick new maps if you don't like the one that's generated. That's pretty cool. What kind of maps do you get? And they also give you a generated landscape landscape code so that's probably like the seed the random seed and you could feed that back in and probably i don't know if this is true but it seems like you could probably get the same map back so if you like one that is generated you could write down the number um you know and then you could play it again with your friends um i'm also pretty impressed by the 3d like the parallax effects when you scroll in and out and stuff um Let's see. Worm options. Oh, weapon options. Let's see here. Bazooka on, grenade on, shotgun. So you can have... The, I mean, all the worms, could cu you could customize all this. It's pretty cool. Even this first one, you could. Uzi on, Dragon Ball. Ha, Dukin! Uh, drill on. Oh, yeah, Kamikaze. You just suicide on the guy. Hmm. So no super sheep that I could see. Uh, anyway, it's a cool game. It's a, it's a great classic uh, 
franchise. What do you guys think of Worms here? Did you play it? Do you have fond memories? Do you have strategies? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, whatever you think of the game, I hope today was enjoyable and entertaining for you. Uh, if it was, subscribe. Come on back some other time. We'll hang out more. We'll play more games. I'll keep you company, whatever the case may be. Guys, until next time, you take care of yourselves, and we will see you soon. Ready, guys? Peace. They say the user lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot!